So hello, today we are going to learn a few tips in Flutter that will be really helpful in your coding journey. Let's begin with clearing up this maze of comments that we get initially when you create a Flutter application. For that, you need to find and replace. To find and replace, you press the shortcuts Command Shift R or Control Shift R based on whether you are in a Mac or in Windows or Linux. Control Shift R. That would replace everything in the computer. So don't press the Shift. Just press Control and R. You see, if you search and replace here, it will replace everything from the code base. It will replace only from this page. What you want to do is only re replace or delete uh, the comments from this page. So we use Control R only, not Control Shift R. That is one of the mistake that we make, right? So in find what we do is double slash for comment initialization asterisk dot asterisk. What asterisk dot asterisk means is everything that starts with double slash has a space, begins with anything and ends with anything. Now it's not highlighting the sources because we are not using regular expression. Now if we enable the regular expression, it will find all the places where we have the comment right so what we do we simply replace with nothing right amazing see we cleared all the comments here similarly what would you do in case of pop spec because we also have a lot of comments in here very simple thing similarly control r right what we had earlier is double slash to start the comment now what we have is a has to start a comment this way every comment will be replaced just press the replace you see there is the con uh, control alt l or command option l whichever platform you are in it will format itself and your code will look clean and pretty so what do we do when we normally want to create a wizard uh, we do class tips wizard extends or uh, tips wizard sorry stateless wizard right and we need to override it to override it so the error you have to do option enter or option return or option uh, alt enter or alt enter return whatever you uh, say in your platform which is to that replace and we'll get a wizard where we can define its name right but it is a quite easier way there is a quite easy way than this what we simply do is type stless -E and when we do stless -S, it will say flutter stateless wizard right we just press enter here and type the name of the wizard tips wizard right easy Similarly, we can also create a stateful wizard, stful, and a stateful wizard will create all the necessary names in all these one, two, three, four, five places. Tips, stateful wizard. This way, we can create a wizard really easily. Did you know you can hide a method inside a method? So right now. Convert dollars to rupees is accessible from main as well as the print rupees from the dollar like this. Yes, two point three dollars with the rate of one hundred thirty is two hundred ninety nine. But what if we don't want to show this method to main and just want it to be reserved to this print from the rupees dollar? Simply call that method and paste it. You see now. It will not be available for main, but it will only be available for this method. So simply remove it because it's not accessible from here. If you run it, you get the same answer. Here is a person class. Here is how it's initialized. And here is its member initialized. When we run it, we get to see this to a string of person. But to assign a, a value to a variable of this object, we are having to call person one dot name, person one dot degree, person one dot address, person one, person one, person one. We don't want to do that. There is an easier way for that. Simply 
replace person one with a dot and boom you can get the same result easy peasy how to handle null values here you can see the nullable variable has some value let's say it does not have some value what it will print it will print a default value but it looks kind of ugly right so what we can replace this with is simply this see it's the whole thing this whole thing can be replaced with just this don't believe me check it out sir check it out so it does not have any value so it will print default value when it has some value it will print some value easy peasy